and then my uh, battle with facial hair so um, let's get started so I pretty much became aware of the fact that I had a ton of facial hair sometime uh, when I finished my school which is 10th grade and went into junior college which is 11th and 12th here in Maharashtra and uh, I saw other girls who looked very pretty and flawless whereas I had a big moustache and sideburns um, do you remember that character from that seven, uh, from that uh, show from the 70s uh, the guy in the black leather jacket and all, Fonzie Fonzie, yes, that was the guy with those huge black sideburns. That was me. So I don't really have a picture of uh, I don't really have a picture of me from that time, and thank God I don't. But but if I had to show you a picture and give you an idea of what I looked like back then with all my facial hair in all its glory, it would look something like this. No exaggeration, uh, maybe a little bit of exaggeration, but really I had a lot of hair on the sides and over here. So anyway, I started with getting my upper lip threaded. I um, got it done sometime in my 11th standard and for a year I did just that. Then I felt the need to get my eyebrows done and sometime in my 12th standard I did that. And then for pretty much six or seven years after that, I was only doing my upper lip and my eyebrows threading, which was fine until I realized that I had a lot more hair on my face and I needed to do something about it. So uh, then I went on to try and bleach my hair. But the problem with bleaching is from my experience, if you have dark thick hair on the sides or anywhere on your face bleaching is not going to make it disappear it's not going to turn it so light that it cannot be seen so bleaching i feel is meant for people who have fine hair on the face and they are pretty fair themselves okay if you have thick hair it's not going to turn completely golden it's going to become a weird color between golden and black and it's going to look atrocious and if you're very dark skin, somehow I feel bleaching leaves your skin looking an ashy grayish color and it doesn't look pretty. So if you have fair skin and you have very very fine hair, go ahead and bleach. But if like me you have thick dark hair, bleaching may not be for you. Plus whenever I would bleach my eyes would burn so much. Since um, I just felt it was a very harsh process for my skin and I didn't really want to put my skin through it again and again. So I used to do it very rarely and even then I wasn't very happy with the results. So I decided to try waxing my face. So I waxed my face a couple of times and it worked beautifully and I liked the feeling of everything being absolutely clean and uh, smooth. However, um, waxing is very dependent on the person doing it and the place you're getting it done from. So. Um, the first few times waxing was very smooth for me but then I changed the place where I got my face waxed. I was in a rush and needed to get it done and I couldn't go to my usual place and it so happened that maybe the person pulling wasn't skilled enough or there was some issue with the hygiene of the wax or something like that that it broke me out completely and um, it took months for my breakouts and the acne scars to heal but uh, they did heal and eventually um, I tried waxing again and it worked fine again and then the third time I broke out again and when I broke out this time I decided that I needed to stop waxing. So uh, I didn't know what to do next and uh, that is when I tried my luck with laser and uh, initially I got only my upper lip uh, lasered and uh, it worked fantastically well.